This is what happens when you read at the end and you're like seven years deep. Seven? Three. Step line. I came in with many beers in me. So don't come at me like that. Look, it's technology. In the future, real bots are free for me. Okay. So take in my password. <laughs> Carolyn Ho can suck it. <laughs> That's what you get for telling your mom that she's a sneaky cunt. Oh my god, you can wash your hands! Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> On that note, I'm not gonna read about cunts. Uh, mostly just write poetry, and I'm gonna read a couple things about failure and displacement. And shit. Uh, morning. There's a neighbor drying the dishes in a wire rack, each plate filed under another prong, open, filled, open, vacancy. In the next apartment, a pile of shells. The spirals exercise under the pressure of sand returns, the hollow to a net of light. Above, each tar and shingle provides an understanding. Starlings drag their bodies through the sky and back again. Scatter, then fall, collect like blood on the back of a razor, thin telephone wire. Jars and empty bottle, brown bottles flood the space below the kitchen table. Within this, Conceal the idea of drowning. Kiss the sea. We've created a body of permanent ice. In another room, shards of apples fill a metal bowl. Water is water because we can drink it. Every day I run through God's mnemonic, fingers in front of my mouth, a plate of words, straddling the webbing of each hand. There is no need for prayer. I iron my shirt in his image. I fold my plant pants at the pleat, pristine. The dragonfly flicker of humility washes out like creases, soil, fabric. Cough and say ah, there is no need. To <clears throat> Sometimes I write about this imagined dear brother that I killed. Um, and this is part of it. Awkward. <laughs> dear. I am the cold is summer has. I want you to know this, but first, let me get this right. These things I think of you. In there, the cover you take. That brilliant shroud of the sea. Clarity and distance is a remarkable jewel. A million facets between us. You are smiling. Cradled by white noise, the muffled echoes, the rhythm of displaced sand, the click of shuffling gravel fills your mind. Nothing is unexpected beyond the reef. I see your whispers gather in the spoon. Green is gossip, and red is politic. White is space filling chatter. The wake brushes your banter to the side. I touch your words. Countless molecules joining and abandoning one another. I dip my fingers in the surface, my hand at your mouth, and know that we are touching. Go further into the concentrated collection, this water, and now we are linking arms. And ever still, my mouth on your mouth. And nothing. Where we've gone, 
Each night the window flies open to a thin trail of tiled roofs. Your eyes are in my hand. I am showing you the world. Each succulent growing in the gutter, every bird's nest, sound on the ledges of a halfway home. Isn't it beautiful? I have fashioned a bouquet of weeklies for you. Together we'll rip them so we can get half-priced cappuccinos off the dollar menu and plastic kettles for our instant noodles. Dream this. Dream with me. We're almost there. And my last poem. Molt. The AUX cord lies its neck on the table. The nylon gym bag does its last shift on the chair. This is the sound of everything softening into the night. One dry purple bloom decides to relinquish its ties to the orchid stem. The latest piece of meat turns in the belly and whimpers its last high whimper until it transforms into something different come morning. Another swig of kombucha and it'll sound even less. Every day, another dull sound echoes from an empty corner of the flat. Another piece of material refuses to sustain its own weight. The French pin in the kitchen finds a new position by the potatoes. The body notices these simple transitions and grows jealous of the ease of transformation. The body, the only thing in constant motion, yet still the most constant. It sees the deer, the hawk, the fish, and the television all change and be changed. One from the other, one to the other, it watches the phantom breath of a fish anew in the bear. The rabbits shiver in the clutches of the hawk, and the deer, belly full of wild greens, and neck stretched smooth like poplar, and the body, the body sallow weighted and in repose responds to the dark transition within the neat, comely room, and calls to the blinking television with wide eyes, please, God, gut me and make me new. Thank you.